Ever wondered what it took to survive the Klondike Gold Rush, a pivotal moment in the late 19th century that saw the migration of thousands to the remote Yukon Territory in pursuit of gold? The answer lies in a simple yet weighty term, a ton of goods. The origin of this term finds its roots in the arrival of the first gold ship in San Francisco. The Canadian government, concerned about the impending wave of prospectors reaching Dawson, took measures to prevent mass starvation. They calculated that each person would need a year's supply of food, amounting to just over half a ton. With the inclusion of essential clothing and equipment, the load often doubled, thus earning the moniker, a ton of goods. Transporting this massive load was no easy feat. Stampeders had the daunting task of moving their supplies from Skagway or DA to Lake Bennett. The lack of modern transportation and challenging landscape meant some walked nearly a thousand miles to cover a mere 33. As the rush progressed, options expanded from hiring local packers to utilizing pack animals, tramways and eventually a railroad. But the journey wasn't just about moving supplies, it was also about keeping them safe. An honor code generally prevailed, but instances of thievery did occur. Some stampeders took measures such as hiring packers to move their goods in a single day or investing in additional help to guard their supplies. Yet, despite these precautions, thefts did occur, leading to the establishment of makeshift courts and punishments along the trail. So, what exactly was in this ton of goods? A supply list published by the Northern Pacific Railroad Company gives us a glimpse. It covered everything from food items to cooking and camping equipment, clothing, tools, and medical supplies. It's a testament to the comprehensive preparation needed for this challenging expedition. In conclusion, the Klondike Gold Rush was a period marked by dreams of wealth and the stark realities of survival in the northern wilderness. The necessity of a ton of goods, the challenges of transporting these supplies and the methods employed to guard against theft provide a fascinating glimpse into the lives of these ambitious prospectors. Despite the many obstacles, the allure of gold continued to draw thousands to the Yukon, forever marking this period as a unique chapter in human history.